everyone i hope you're all okay um just thought um a check in with you um gonna start hopefully a new set of uh vlogs but this one's going to be a little bit different first of all it's not going to be the three of us it's just gonna be the two of us myself and ella it will be a my alternative hindu so some of you might already know i myself and paul are getting married at the end of may in zanti and I have chosen not to have a traditional Hindu, but instead just to spend some time um, having some quality time with myself and Ella because with her age I find that when she's at home she's having to do schoolwork and then um, she's um, at her dad's uh, week, uh, every other weekend so I don't get much quality time with her and then the weekends that we are at home doing home life really so I um, just thought we'd have a few days at Centre Parks um at Elvedon Forest we've but I've booked a uh apartment so instead of one of the big a-frame lodges that are really expensive I've bought I've booked a um room that's a twin room it can either be a twin or a double we'll, sh we'll show you around when we get there and um it's a little self-catering one so we've got um some food and bits and bobs in the in the uh, boot of the car some pizzas and things and um, we're just going to have a, a few days. We've got a few activities booked. So we thought we'd um, take you along on um, what hopefully will be a fun, girly few, few days away. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later. Bye. of a mile, turn left. We go. Right, so we uh, made it here to Centre Parks, just parked the car up in the big parking lot. Those that have been before will know that um, when you first get here, you can't take your um, car to your lodge or anything. Uh, you have to park in the big car park. And then a bit later, you're allowed to uh, take your car to your lodge or your accommodation unload all your stuff and then you um, have to bring your car back here because you, uh, there's no no cars allowed around centre parks so apart from if you've got a special permission um, we probably won't be moving our car later because we're in an apartment which actually isn't too far and um, it often is a bit crazy moving your cars on um, checking in checking out times but in the meantime I thought we'd give you a quick walk around I'm um, gonna go and find the swimming pool and the main complex area anyway. Yeah. And we'll see you Hi. later. Bye! And we have already found the welcome centre, with, um, which isn't far from the car park for toilets for those of you who've travelled a distance and have children that might need a wee, or adults as the case may be with us. Um, unfortunately, the weather's turned a bit and it is now raining, and we have now just gone back to get out. Okay, so yay, hopefully it will um, blow over whilst we're in the swimming pool. Um, that's what we're just about to go and find now. But um, we'll just show you the walk from the car park to the um, swimming area. As long as we don't get too lost. It's been several years since I last came to Centre Park, so we'll have to see. So that's where you go and get your bikes if you've hired them for the week. Or for as long as you stay here. Or for, for as long as you stay here. It says sports plaza etc this way. And this is one of the dog play areas. Oh, if nice you've got one of the lodges um, that dogs can stay in. There's only a certain amount of number of lodges that dogs are allowed to stay in. And I have heard that they get booked up very far in advance. And uh, obviously quite pricey but very popular. But um, there's a little play area if um, they want to. Yeah, that there is our apartments. Uh, we're number 53 looking out onto the lake, so hopefully as we walk past here in a minute, um, we'll um, be able to work out roughly which one might be our part, our accommodation. And here's the parking for um, the lodges, but you can't stay in them for the week for these spaces. You have to uh, move the car in that allotted time of checking in into your rooms and things. So this is one of the really big expensive water lodges that's really expensive and really big. 
um, they, they look great to be able to share with several members of your family, extended family. And these are our apartments. And they're a balcony. And we should be, that one just, well not that you'll be able to see it, the one without the bedding on the outside. So, yeah, that should be our apartments just there. And this is the walk that we'll take down into the village. We're nice and centralised. Yeah, Treasure really Island is Crazy going. Golf. Um, that you have to book, I think, and um, again, obviously, an upcharge, upcharge on that. But that's the landing space for the for the zip line. I did offer her like that, but um, she she chose that, decided that it looked a little bit too high for her liking, so has chosen to do segways with me instead. We're doing those on Sunday, I think. Tomorrow we're um, off to do pottery painting and a bit later today we're going to do a interactive ball wall um, which is a converted squash court um, with lots of sort of interactive ball game things great for kids young and old uh, hopefully we'll have some fun I am unfortunately coaching a cold at the moment so we'll have to see how much energy I've got um, come the time we need to do it but I'm sure we'll have a a good little bit of time on that. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it cost. I think it was about 25 or 22 pound for the hire of the court. Um, and I think you can have up to six people on that. So if you did have a few people in your family and spread the cost, I should think that's not too bad. Oh, what are those? Oh, Ella said, what are those? You've got your pedalo boats and your electric boats that you can hire to take out on the water. And um, this has got to go round up here for the village square. Ella says stop. Pancake house. Ella says pancake house. What Ella doesn't know is that tomorrow, after we have done the pottery painting, we might have a reservation in the pancake house. <laughs> yeah. I think she's a little bit pleased about that one. Um, a little bit pleased? A lot pleased? Right then, so I'll just come and show you the map. Where's the pool? So we have just come from the parking. That one. And we walked along past the cycle centre. That one there is our apartment and then we just come along here past the beach and then up and then we're in the um, village square and in the village square you've got restaurants, um, a little mini supermarket and then obviously oh, the, the, the swimming area and the pottery painting studio is just up there. Um, but we'll come and show you what it looks like on this um, damp and cold day but never mind English weather will make the most of it. Yeah. Um, one thing to note is if you do want reservations in any of these to eat of an evening um, it's best to make your pre-reservations before you come, you can do that on the app um, and um, you, I think it's £5 deposit per person um, because places do get really booked up. Anyway we're just going to pop into the sports plaza and go and see if we can find the swimming pool. So we come in um, through the doors with, they've got a swim shop, a critique. So if you've uh, gotten your swimming costumes, um, then they've got swimming costumes and things. Let's have a little look. Mm, nice centre park towels, two for 36 pounds. They're nice. Flamingos. I like this one. Yeah, I like the flamingo one, yeah. Oh, there's an art Yeah, that's what I saw, yeah. Centre parts one for your souvenir, I guess. <laughs> so, just for reference, that's £44. That's the cost you. It's very nice. I like that one. <laughs> Our little beach shoes, they're quite nice. Non slip beach shoes for little children in the water so they don't slip over. Oh, Ella likes the centre park's ducks, <laughs> they're cute, they're cute, aren't they, Ella? <laughs> Our children ones, lots of children bits and bobs. 
Some more cool stuff. Oh, Ella's seen the, the treat shop and Starbucks is looking just a little bit busy for those who, who, who like a Starbucks. And uh, if you want a sweet treat or ice cream, uh, £2.55 a sweet. Yeah, they do Ella's favourite mint chocolate chips, so I should think at some point we'll probably have to participate in one of those. Ella, Ella says the tree is a little bit creepy. Millions of minions. I realised that, if you can hear me, that over by the um, buggy park is actually a swimming pool. Uh, there's a Jules clothes shop, so we'll have a little look round here. Have a little look. This is nice. Didn't know this was here. No, so if you fancy. That's quite funny. Kiss my ace. Kiss my ace. So um, if you fancy buying or treating yourself to a few extra clothes whilst you're here, doing a bit of retail therapy, then you can. Jewels. I'm always nice clothes in here. I'm always a little bit expensive, but always nice. Didn't think I'd come to Centre Parks and come and find a nice little clothes shop. <laughs> Cute jumper at £70. If only that was nearly locking myself out and bashed my foot and bending my uh, toe back and really hurts and when I went down first time she hurt her knee as well so just be cautious of that one it looks quite tame but um, if you get it rolling you get it rolled yeah anyway we're gonna uh, go and see if we can find our uh, sports um, ball room thing and um, we'll take you with us as we go and walk around the sports plaza yeah. all right so we're walking out of the swim paradise area 
into the sports area. So we've got to go and see what we can find. Maybe we have to go to get there's a clip and climb, yep. Yeah. So we have just picked up our interactive balls and packets and things. Apparently it's a bit like you class it as a interactive eye thingy, like iPad, iPad thing. Um, and wave your hands and stuff at it and um, play games. So let's go and have a look. So what we got? We've got some balls, yep. Yeah. And some socks. Yep. Well, tip them all out then. What I think I'm going to do is set this up on a tripod. Hopefully, I just won't. rests in between by someone picking up the balls for other people and taking it in turns or you can just you know, go mad and throw the balls crazy as a family but just the two of us we've had lots of fun a little bit warm i think we might need a uh, little ice cream to cool down now yeah. <laughs> so we've finished in the sports pavilion all very hot now we've just got ice cream ella's got rocky road and i've got mint chocolate chip in a obviously a chocolate and <laughs> chipped cone uh, that was five pound ninety um, nice to way to sit down, cool down, have a little break. So we'll just sit here and relax in the sunshine now that it's finished raining. Yeah. Um, and we've got about half an hour before we can go and check into our room. Um, what we'll do is we'll go and have a look in our room before we then go and get our suitcases from the car. And we'll catch you later. Bye. Woodland Woodfront Apartment, Waterfront Apartment. So you just come in sliding doors there's, there's Ella just waiting I'm gonna come and show you our room we're at apartment 53 um haven't actually gone in here yet um just thought I'd give you a room tour whilst it's nice and tidy um this is our room thingy you get given wristbands um when you check in and a, your room key and they are also for your lockers so I would suggest having um enough for everyone I was offered just one or two. Um, first of all, I just was going to have one, but um, then decided to have the two for the locker for Ella as well at swimming. So when you first come in, um, on my left-hand side is let's turn the light on. Oh, a little individual toilet room. You have got a little soup, a couple of toilet rolls. No hand towel or anything, so don't forget to bring your towels, even just for drying your hands up. I'll put the lights on. 
And around here, right, we've got a um, shower room. Uh, there isn't a um, privacy door, so if you're here with people that you don't want to see you, um, then just you're about to hum or something. Um, so we've got a nice <coughs> hair dryer and your sockets for your um, shavers. Sink. Oh, there are tails. There just wasn't one in the other room. I put one in the other room. Heated towel out, which will be good. And wow, that shower's huge. So it's a just a big walk-in shower. Coming round. Coming round. And this is the little kitchen area, which is good. So we've got a little wine cooler. Oh, there's your fridge. And a little freeze box. That's pretty good. Your sink. You get a little pack up. So a couple of dishwasher tablets, um, sponge, and washing up liquid, a little bit of washing up liquid, not much, a cloth, tea towel, oh, and you get oven gloves. I wasn't sure if you would, so I brought extra tea towels because I don't like taking things out of the oven. There's a little um, dishwasher, and kettle and toaster, and a coffee machine, cupboards with stuff, enough for four people, even though it's a two bedroom. Wine glasses, champagne glasses, cups and things. And then you've got your little oven there. Uh, I've been told it's like a microwave oven, but it doesn't look like it to me. It just looks like an oven. So we'll have a little look. And new instructions are in there. And then we're coming round into the main living room area. Well, it's nice and sunny. So I asked for a twin setup. They can do it as a double setup. Um, so you've got our individual beds, little bedside lamps, plug sockets with USB-C and USB plugs on them, and your night light. Again, set repeats on the same side, other side. We've got a little wardrobe with shelving unit, a safe, and some hangers. Then on this side, we've got a little TV and a box. I was told that there was a DVD player, someone said, but so I brought some DVDs to watch, but it would appear that there isn't, so never mind, that doesn't matter. TV pulls out from the wall so you can sit and watch it whilst chilling out. There's a little Hux menu for delivery to the room. So you can have a little walk, scan and order of things to your room and drinks. And then we've got a ground floor one because I wanted it for the wildlife for Ella. So we'll be able to um, put drinks and things, sorry, food and stuff out for the animals. And then we got a lovely little balcony. And the weather's so nice. And there's a little deer just coming to see me already. So I think I need to go and get some food for it. Because it's coming already. How cute. I'll go and get Ella so she can come and see it. Oh, look. A little monk jack deer. Heard the noise at the door, so it's obviously used to being fed. Good job, we brought some food for it. So we're just going to go and feed the the wildlife. So we got a moorhen. Put some seed down for them. And Hella's just going to feed them. And we got some ducks and moorhen coming. Oh, and look, there's a there's some monk jack over the back there. Let's see if they'll come. See if the monk jacks will come. How close they can get to you. I'm just going to close that door down just a little bit, just in case. Is it good, Ella? Yeah. It's lovely. Oh, Come on. Here comes the night jack. Let's see if it'll take it. Ella, do you want to take one from the bag? Yeah. 
and see if you can give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. That's special, isn't it, Ella? <laughs> and give it another one. What about that one? Yeah. Oh, oh look, there's another one coming. That was mine. Yeah. You're gonna, gonna give this one? It might be a bit tame, Ella. Remember, they're wild, aren't they? Yeah, you are. You're wild, but you're very tame. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow Ella <laughs> Say thank you Nanny for the monkey nuts <laughs> Hello Um thoroughly enjoy just sitting chilling on the little veranda area with a nice glass of prosecco now we're going to have a little wander back into the um, centre and see what we can find obviously the weather is much nicer than it was earlier so we'll take you with us and you can have a look at the uh, views without the rain well I must say I'm very impressed with the apartment um, it's um, got everything that you need for two people. It's even got a dishwasher which I love because then I don't need to do the drying up. Ella loves the idea of a dishwasher. Um, we haven't actually got one at home. Um, that is a, another <laughs> conversation. Um, oh, there goes the geese. Oh, right back it. That's another conversation I'm sure if you talk to full he'll explain. Um, Wait, yeah it, it, got a it's, um, it's got lovely shower which we haven't yet used um, we'll have a go at that either tonight or tomorrow morning um, and uh, use the oven and the oven is a microwave and oven um, you take the sides and the tray out to use the microwave which I did use to defrost the bolognese that I brought with us it was still a bit frozen from where we um, pre-cooked it froze it and traveled it so I just need to defrost it a little bit before cooking it and um, managed to work that out there was instructions in one of the cupboards so was able to use that and so yeah we've spent a little bit of time just chilling out on the veranda watching all the animals and gonna have a little wander so yeah it doesn't know where it wants to go i think it's gonna go down onto the beach i think have a little wander around they're so tame, they're everywhere. <coughs> it is no, really... it wants to get to the adventure golf. Oh, it's going off to the adventure golf. You see a park, Ella? Children's uh -huh. play area. Uh -huh. oh, it's here, look. Uh -huh. Where are we? Have a look. We're here, which means it's just up there. Okay. Which means are we there? Probably up there. No, we're here. Uh, oh. We're here. Oh. So it's over there. So we've got to go through. Okay, okay. so we'll have a little wander around. Oh, look at the little, tiny little trolleys for children. That, that's really sweet. Oh, look at these yummy cakes. Oh, this coffee. Wow. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and your coffees and your spreads so you could quite easily do a shop in here if you wanted to and you can get prices are you can as you would expect fruit. more than um, your normal supermarket but not too bad but yeah. oh well, the shop goes on and on and on and on so we just walked through the um, sports plaza from the supermarket and found the big kids play area looks really good 